Hi Nicholas, this is Tony. I'm doing your critique on white balance and uh, ISO. I, I read your uh, little note in the beginning about how you use Lightroom. You got, you got your DSLR from last, you know, last year. Uh, that's great. Oh boy, yeah. So I mean, you're you've got a big head start on the, you know, in terms of what uh, some of the students do in the class. So um, all right, this shot of this bird. Very nice, really a, a, a great shot here. We'll run through some of your shots here. It looks like you've got 38 shots here. Okay, um, all right, this other shot here. Uh, you know, especially since it's in shade, nice that it's warm. Uh, that you warmed it up a little bit. Yeah, so color balance and everything here looks good. Your ISO for outside is great. Same thing here. Good composition, um, yeah. You know your white white balance outside. Um, you know unless unless you're getting into something where uh, your open shade or really cloudy and it's turning kind of bluish looking, um, that's only where you that's the only spot you're going to really run into problems. Um, but all these are looking really good, you know. And and, and since it's all very consistent. Um, you know, it's hard to really get a, a bead on the uh, the white balance. We'll run through here and see if there's anything that is, um, you know, like any kind of interior shots. So all the, all the exterior ones, um, beautiful shots, by the way, too. Uh, you know, really postcard-looking kinds of shots, nicely composed. And all your um, ISOs, you know, being outside at uh, 100, that's perfect for that kind of stuff. Great exposures. Canon uh, T3i, those, what, what, a, what a wonderful camera that is. Yeah, everything looks fantastic. Uh, beautiful shots. Uh, love this shot. Very nicely composed. Nice, nice little elements. Nice composition. Beautiful colors. Okay, now here we are inside, but you, you still have pretty much it's daylight, you know, from the skylight filtering in there. Same kind of thing here. Same kind of thing here, but uh, good white balance. Okay, now here we go. Here we've got a little bit of uh, different kinds of um, lights. Maybe these are tungsten, hard to say. Uh, and then uh, looks like maybe you're up in a plane uh, on this one. Okay, yeah, the only one that I really saw where there was any any kind of like other lights other than uh, daylight was this shot right here. Uh, of course, this worked out just fine. Um, I would love like to have seen more uh, like, you know, interior shots where it would be something where you're you're actually working with it. But, you know, in terms of white balance for, uh, you know, your outside shots, um, that all those looked just fine. And then, you know, of course, when you're shooting outside in such bright light, your ISO is pretty much planted right on 100. So um, the other thing I would be concerned about would be, um, you know, your ISO in, uh, in, in low light. So uh, uh, hopefully in uh, future, you know, the fact that you know how to use Lightroom, that tells me something that, you know, you've got a pretty good grasp of, of uh, some of the concepts of, for digital photography. But... Uh, you know, just interested to see what you're going to do um, in low light and having to use much higher ISOs. So, um, as far as the shots go, uh, really glad you got, uh, it looks like you had a really nice vacation and uh, beautiful stuff. And uh, look forward to seeing um, your future assignments. Thanks a lot.